Let's do it up off a of corner number four. Green lights are on and we're running. Big Mike Minutlo right there up to the two spot. Derek Excel looking to get back to victory lane after a week off as Eric Chapman will surrender the spot into turn number one and two. As Excel now going after Nick Dandino into corner number three and four. Excel pulling up alongside, wheel to wheel through corner number three and four off the turn. As they come down to the line, it's Nick Dandino holding on to the lead with four to go. But Derek Excel makes the move on the top side stick and he'll be your new race leader off the turn. Derek Excel picked up his first ever feature win here on April 27th. He then rattled off three in a row, took last week off and he will be back to victory lane here at Canandaigua. Second, Dandino. Third, Big Mike. Ellison is fourth. The 70 of Mark Minutlo, fifth. Sean Letts is sixth. Chapman is seventh. Lavare finishes in eighth. Derek Excel, come on out here, man. Our winner of our Pure Sack feature tonight. Another fine run for you, another good race car. Yes, it was a real good race with uh, 58 there. I mean, he was tough. And, uh, you know, I love racing here, and I think we're going to try moving up and racing with Welch and them guys and see what happens. So. Oh, we know you got yourself a stout piece underneath you. Yeah. How's the driver? You ready? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? How's it gonna be done tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Let's find out together. 25 laps for the Dirt Car Safety Awareness Solution Sportsman Division, brought to us by Victor Mobile Homes as we are underway. Can he make the pass stick? Yes, he can. New race leader, Nick Guerry, down the back stretch into turn number three. They fire in turn number three as Nick Guerry on the top side. Steve Gray takes the bottom and they are underway and off the corner and Steve Gray is your race leader into turn number one and two. The Tom Fox own Fox's Auto Empire Bex Recycling Ride, his first win in two years in the sportsman division. Second, off a of corner number four, his second runner-up finish of the year for Nick Guerry, Dave Marcacelli, another solid third. Rob Bussey is fourth, Bubba Brunel fifth, the G-man, Paul Guerry. He finishes in sixth, Kevin Ridley seventh. It's been a while since we've had you down here as well. Uh, too long. Too long is right. Uh, How good was this race car? Uh, the car was really good. Uh, we made a lot of changes throughout the week. Uh, my cousin Terry stayed with me late every night at the track getting this thing done. We went through that thing with a fine tooth comb, found a lot of things that we missed, uh, so we fixed them. Another thing that helped us tonight was a little bit of rain, put some tack back into the track. The track was slippery, I think we would have had a little bit different circumstances. Green lights are on, we're racing. First time down into corner number three and four. Alicia Ruggles is going to bring it off the turn with your race lead. Daryl Ruggles on the top, off of corner number two, pulls alongside his daughter down into turn number three. As the 22 of Tekanowitz can do nothing but watch through corner number four. Daryl Ruggles, your new race leader here on lap number six. Oh, we've got one up and over the wall in turn number two. Into turn number three and four. Charlie Donk isn't going to catch him as it will be Dale Ruggles with the win. Charlie Donk second. Alicia Ruggles is third. Fourth will be Paul Hobbick. Justin Henderson, fifth. Todd Henderson, sixth. Bob Dresty is seventh. Dan Kuhn is eighth. Ninth is Mike Kastner. Well, we talked about this last week. You couldn't find your way to victory lane. Now we can't keep you out of it. Another fine run. I hope you can ever keep me out of it. I love it here. You know, it's, it's fun to win, and uh, it's cool to be here. Um, can't do it without, uh, you know, Fox's Auto and Ike Van Bordo and um, Engler Injection. But, you know, most importantly, you got to have a horsepower plant to do this deal. And, uh, you know, you got to have a good crew. Um, my wife, she puts up with a 
a lot of shit during the middle of the week. <laughs> And, uh, For lack of better terms. <laughs> but Jeff and John and everybody that works on this car all week long, you know, my hat's off to those guys. And, uh, you know, we, we just found something that really works here, and uh, it, it shows. And I, I really thank Jeremy for sticking with us and letting these 305s run here. I know it's been a little difficult, but uh, I love it here. I hope we never have to leave. Race fans, it's showtime! <laughs> Meanwhile, back up in front, they're three wide for position number three, four, and five. Holman takes the spot away from the 19W of Justin Wright, and Matt Fink is right there. So is Gary Tompkins in the number 84. As Tompkins looks to get into this gaggle of cars, Their field works their way. Three wide for the two spot. Gary Tompkins leaning on Chad Homan as they head into turn number one. Exiting turn number two. Second on fifth is a good one. As Fink has it, here comes Gary Tompkins. Tompkins works the top shelf. Vitaly follows in his tire tracks. Is on the bottom, Fink runs with Dunn right behind him as they click off lap number 11. And now Super Matt will go after Matt Fink, but Billy Dunn is the one on the top shelf looking to make it happen as he looks to reclaim a top five run. Rim riding that big now off of corner number four, looking to pedal around Shepard. He'll do so to reclaim a top five run here on lap 14. Chad Holman on lap number 17. will be halfway home this time by, and Gary Tompkins starting to cut into that lead with the number 84 machine as we are 20 laps in. And Gary Tompkins looking for the lead. Tompkins by a nose into corner number one. But Chad Holman right back on the top side and Holman reclaims the number one spot as they come off the corner as Gary Tompkins trying to seal the deal. Can he get around Holman? Yes, he does on lap number 23. He's got a four car length advantage. Now make it three, two, make it one. As they head into turn number four, Gary Tompkins has Matt Shepard working on him as the turn number one and two on lap number 28. As he heads into turn number three and four, Gary Tompkins is gonna exercise the demons. He's gonna get the win. Second will be Shepard, third, will be Billy Dunn, Chad Holman is fourth, Vinny Vitale fifth, Matt Fink is sixth, Justin Harris from, comes up from seventh, Alan Johnson eighth, Steve Payne is ninth, Jimmy Phelps rounds out the top 10. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Tompkins. Wow, he's right. <laughs> no, I didn't say rare. Okay. Because <laughs> it's been a while. Holy it, cow. It has been a while. 2009 is the date that I show, man. How good does it feel to get this one off the back? It's uh, a lot of relief and uh, obviously a lot of joy. I mean, you can see our quarter panel. It's, I mean, this race car has got to make its own money, you know, right now. And uh, and tonight we did it. I mean, uh, <laughs> I... I Made my crew chief Kyle Ains mad because uh, right when we were trying to line up, because we changed gears when the track got tacky, and then they sent the sprint cars out, and I'm thinking, well, I don't know what they're going to do. So uh, right at the, right at the, right before we line up, I go, we got to change them back. And of course, my hero Alan Johnson come in and change at the same time, so I knew we did the right thing. <laughs> so it, everything worked out. It just, I mean, the car was awesome all night, and uh, the bottom really came in towards the end. You know, I wish the track was like this every week. You know, it needs to rain halfway through the race, but, but. Uh, you know, hats off to my crew, Kyle, uh, Rusty. You know, we, we got a small crew. I got to thank my wife for allowing me to do this and uh, Justin for putting up with me. And, uh, you know, we don't have many uh, many sponsors, Ken Brewer and Joe B.A. and uh, D.C. Rouser and Bicknell Racing Products, uh, Bill Stein Shocks, uh, you know, pole position. Uh, really, it's, that's about it right now. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep chugging along until the money runs out, you know, and unless we get somebody on the quarter panel, we'll see what happens. Green lights are on, street stocks brought to us by Parts Plus.
Here comes Guerry looking for the lead underneath the 30 of Pazarek. Couldn't make it work as they slice down into corner number three and four. As they come off the turn together, Pazarek still showing the fast way. Off the turn number four it is. Pazarek shutting the door on Guerry. And then the Weller 99, 69 gets into the left rear quarter panel of Mike Welch. Green, Welch on the top side. Pulls even terms with Pazarek off a of corner number four. And Mike Welch is your new race leader. It's Blaine Smith now works to the inside of the number 30 of Steve Pazarek for position number two. They'll come off the corner together and Pazarek will surrender the spot to Blaine Smith. As they head into turn number three and four, Blaine Smith has got to run down into the corner. Mike Welch right there with him as they come through corner number three and four. Off the line and to the stripe, Blaine Smith wins it. Second will go to Mike Welch. Third will be Jack Terrell. The 90 of Nate Peckham is fourth. The 30 of Steve Pazarek finishes in fifth. You don't look anything like the guy I've been interviewing. You know this, don't you? Congratulations. About time. We should have had you down here a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, you know, the car's been a little loose in the center. I've been working on it, you know, trying to tighten it up. It was pretty good tonight. I don't know if something happened to Mike's car there towards the end. It looked like he was slowing down, so. Um, but I'm glad to be here. You reeled him in pretty quick. Tell us about that last corner and that last lap. Well, you know, like I said, I, I, I seen him, me catching him, and that's unusual with Mike's car. He's so good, and the car's so smooth, and. Um, I figured something might have been going on with it, and I just figured I'm going to hold it wide open going into four and see if I can get around them. It's been a while since we've had you down here. How does how, how this one feel? This feels great. You know, we've been, you know, on and off for the last few years and um, just having fun. And, you know, if it wasn't for, like, Mike Mastin and even Mike Welch with all the – most of the parts on my car is off Mike's car. So, um, you know, he helps everybody out. And, you know, believe it or not, you know, he, he does. The, the guy is unbelievable with everybody in the, in the, in the, in the street stock division. So it's, it's, been, it's been fun, and I'm happy to be here. We are off. Into turn number three, Hendershot, already a feature winner this season out of Clyde, New York. Your new race leader on lap number two. Mangiarelli looks to the inside of the 05 for Washburn. He'll take over position number two. Now Washburn falling back into the grasp of the number two of Abraham as they work their way into turn number three and four. Halfway home, five down, five to go. And Tate Mangiarelli off the speedway in turn number four, the reason for the caution. Congratulations. Thank you. Another fine run for you. Yeah, it was fun. Tonight the car was really right from the get-go, right out of the box. Bad week at home, great outcome over the weekend. Tell us what happened up there in between turns one and two with about two to go. Looks like she pushed up the hill she on you a little bit. I didn't, get, I didn't go in quite hard enough, trying to become a little bit cautious, and you can't do that. Made up for it on the next lap, though. Yes, I did, and I wanted to stay low. And I was going in three and four a little bit higher than I wanted to, but... Uh, Got the job done.